GoToMath.com. We're studying some calculus. Working some problems in related rates. And we are in this section, so if you want to see this problem come up, you need to click on that button. Okay, we have uh, let A and R be differentiable functions of T. We want to find dr over dt when a is equal to pi r squared. Simple as that. Let's move on into the classroom. Let's do it and let's erase the board. My gosh, what was all that? Okay, so we have um, a. Does anybody know what that could stand for? and we have pi r squared so that all look familiar a little bit anyway and we want to find dr over dt so we're going to take the derivative of this thing with respect to t so the derivative of a is 1 and then we're going to write da over dt is equal to and then bring the two out front so 2 pi r and dr over dt All right. so anyway there's da over dt is equal to 2 pi r dr over dt but we want to find dr over dt so what we'll need to do is multiply one, both sides by 1 over 2 pi r so, and I'm going to go ahead and, I hate to have to do this to you. Well, you know what? We're not going to skip any steps here. Just in case you forgot. How's that? So we multiply both sides by, forget about this one, okay? One's become invisible. All right. So these guys can now cancel out, and you're left with, now I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to, you know, this is the standard way of writing things here dr over dt is equal to 1 over 2 pi r da over dt. So there you go. Now this, since I've got a little bit of time here, is the uh, formula for finding the area of a circle. Finding the area of a circle. Okay. We're going to pretend that's a circle. So if we're dealing with this, we're talking about that the circle is either going to be growing, getting larger with respect to time, or it could possibly be shrinking. The circle, the area of this, uh, which if the area is decreasing, then the circle is decreasing, right? And Or it's decreasing. So if you can imagine dropping a uh, pebble in a pond right and we were counting the the circles let's say we dropped a pebble in the pond in the circles it's right, concentric circles and uh, you can actually tell if these lines are getting closer together or are they getting further away with respect to time if we were to you know one second two seconds three seconds four seconds well we could tell by looking at this guy by graphing this on what's actually going on here, but uh, this is just a little application problem. It's pretty cool. Believe it or not, it has all kinds of applications in the real world. Okay, so there we are. Let's uh, let's do what I usually do here. All right, dr over dt is equal to 1 over 2 pi r da over dt. And uh, I think in this section we're going to actually start throwing some numbers in there. But anyway, this is the section we're actually in. We're working related rate problems, and we are at um, gotomath.com. Tell your friends about it. Everybody's going to pass calculus. We're all going to get on the same page. We're all going to become engineers uh, of some kind, right? Or maybe even a mathematician. Okay, see ya.